know, when it comes to advertising, even brick and mortar retailers also advertise. It's, I mean, it's not a new concept because festive season is for everybody. A hypermart or a big bazaar or anybody, a Vijay sales would obviously also advertise. But is is it all worth the madness and worth the spends? I mean, by the looks of it, what do you think? How their strategy is going? Is this kind of aggressive marketing and? you know, very pushy ads, jackets after jackets after jackets, helping them to end. I'm hoping that one of the three big guys listening to this is saying, you know, I need to get this guy on board for strategy when the <laughs> business is. I'm obviously not going to be wiser than people who are in place right there because they have the inside knowledge of where the business is going. But I do believe that at least these three are here for the long haul. Uh, and there's no question of Amazon not being here for the long haul because not just the deep pockets, but they've been around, they've proven themselves. Uh, likewise, I think Flipkart also from the advertising side, you know, from the advertising platform side is pushing revenue uh, cycles that are not visible to consumers. Uh, so I, I would say they're here, they're here for the long haul and uh, more power to them. So one of the things that actually I, I kind of uh, see often in, in the conversations around e-commerce is that uh, we tend to give e-commerce uh, more importance than it has actually in the market in terms of share share of uh, business and that's a bridge that they are trying to uh, build with the consumer that you know us and we are also online in a format that the younger consumer is familiar with so you know it's a question of what fraction uh, online becomes in India in the next five years and who the players are I'm a consumer I'm shopping I choose I have my choice of channels you might have yours etc uh, the sooner we drop this artificial barrier of online versus online I think it will be better for everybody because then you can actually start to look through how to use the advantages of multiple channels and figure out how to make your business much more robust, much healthier. The lines only exist in our heads and in marketing and business people's head. As, as real ordinary people outside, there's no offline, there's no online, there's no above the line, below the line, through the line. The, the only other thing I might add and then maybe I'm um, prophesying without enough knowledge over here. But it's not like people have shunned brick and mortar stores. People are still shopping in hypermarkets and Kirana stores across the street. So do you think India is now shopping more than ever? India is a, is a, is a growing market. Uh, the number of people earning more is growing every year. It's not static. And uh, some of the younger consumers are more switched on to uh, mobile phones and the digital medium and therefore the share of what they buy online versus offline uh, may be different. But overall, the entire kind of, you know, the, the, the level of the market is rising. There's growth happening across the board. There are blips, but I think if anybody is investing in the market for long term, uh, there's growth happening on a secular uh, basis across the years. The offline retailers, especially the small ones, have been undergoing a change as well. So when modern retail chains came into the market, the, uh, there was this huge hue and cry about how uh, retail chains would kill off the Kirana Wala. That's very likely to happen in the next 30, 40, 50 years uh, because consumer behavior will change. They will become more uh, oriented towards modern retail formats and the traditional retail format will die out. Uh, the tra traditional retailer may transform himself, the format might die out. How much the traditional markets remain part of the purchase basket is also driven by how much they change. So it's a dynamic process. Retail is a dynamic business, even though it looks like it's been going on forever and has actually uh, existed for as long as humanity has existed. Uh, but it is a dynamic business. And I think uh, we'll see a lot more evolution in the coming years. Uh, you may be familiar with this famous quote of uh, David Ogilvy's. Uh, he said, uh, the consumer is not a moron, she's your wife, right? In the Indian context, uh, context, I always like to say, the consumer is not a moron, she's an oxymoron. Because for every one thing that you say about her, the opposite will be true. And I think that's true of India as a whole, right? There are so many truths, there's so many realities. Uh, you Just when you think that this is the only way, the op exact opposite will also be a reality in some other part of, of India or some other segment of India and therefore these paradoxes or oxymorons will continue to exist until I don't know I don't think we're built for uniformity anyway right so here's to multiple options <laughs> and lots of shopping this festive season thank you so much for joining us for the conversation thank you thank you